Hello and welcome to make lock number 14. Maybe you know this cheap china brushes gimbal. I would like to use this with two functions. One function is with a horizontal view and the other function is that it can face downward to make a bird's eye perspective. Unfortunately this gimbal doesn't offer these functions from the shelf. So we have to make three modifications. The first we have to enable the mechanical full tilt movement. The camera can't look 90 degrees downward because the sensor is placed at the edge of the camera holder. The cable blocks it from looking 90 degree downwards. So we have to modify the sensor's position. To solve this problem we just glue a piece of cardboard under the camera where we can mount the sensor. The second modification needs to be done because the sensor is not tilted more than 45 degree by the controller. So we make a cardboard wedge and tilt the sensor by 45 degree. The 45 degree sensor position has to be between the downward facing position and the horizontal position of the camera. The gimbal is not balanced very good and the torque of the motors isn't enough to get over it. The third modification is to get the gimbal balanced. To do this I had to place the camera a bit outside and put a weight on top of the camera. For me it was a USB stick. But if you are flying maybe a small metal plate or something else is a good idea. Add some velcro to it so it doesn't fall off. And of course it is important to test it before you fly. So let's switch on the gimbal and wait for it to be initialized. So we compare the state of now with our gimbal with three modifications which can now tilt completely downward facing which we can see here. Uh, by the way have a look how the cables are installed. Install them in a way that they don't collide with the gimbal movement. And of course we can go back to the horizontal view. Let's have a look at how it was before without the modifications. We had the gimbal which could go 45 degree upwards and 45 degree downwards. So now we have the gimbal that can do the bird's eye perspective and of course we can use the gimbal without restrictions. Maybe you got some new ideas from this video and I hope to see you again.